Hey guys and welcome back. Well, as you can see uh, by this image, my office has changed a little bit. I'm uh, traveling at the moment and working on my photography business and uh, preparing for new tutorials for you guys. So uh, in the meantime, until I'm back, enjoy this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. All right guys, we're in my 2018. As you can see, uh, let's get started with our uh, tutorial. So I get a question all the time, can you do more complex objects? Well, that kind of depends on what you feel is more complex, right? Uh, by more complex, uh, based on the questions that I get, you guys usually mean more elaborate, as in can you model a complete spaceship or a town or a city or whatnot, uh, which is not really something suitable for a 20-minute video, right? So instead, I'm going to show you guys a couple of techniques that I use when I do uh, sci-fi uh, props, like uh, panels, doors, maybe robot parts and so forth, and uh, hopefully there are some tips there that you find useful, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, polygon sphere and uh, I'm going to hit E to rotate it and hold down J and flip it over on its side like this. All right. Now I'm going to be smoothing this guy later so there's no need to bump up that subdivision level. This is okay. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this thing in half because I only need a half. I will uh, copy the rest over in a bit. Okay. So I'm going to go to face. I'm going to drag select, get rid of half. And then we're going to work on this guy. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to double click on this edge right here, and I'm going to go to uh, Edit Mesh and Bevel. That will give us this beveled edge, and of course it's up to you how uh, big that fraction, uh, how big you make that fraction, but I think it looks okay. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to face, and I'm going to select that entire face row, hit Control E to extrude and do a thickness of minus 0 0.2, which is maybe a bit much. However, I want to check it out first, okay? So let's see, if we go in and hit three to preview smooth, you'll get something looking like this, which is kind of cool. Uh, however, I'm gonna hit one to go back and hit Control Z to go back. Let's hit Control E and go with 0 0.05. Sorry, minus is open zero five. There you go. I think that looks a bit better. Let's hit three, and you can see that that looks pretty cool. Object mode. All right, I'm liking that. Okay, so now that we have that, let's see what else we can do here. Now, um, one question that I get all the time is, okay, when you have, um, let's say, something like a square shape on a sphere, how do you do that? Well, basically, it's as simple as uh, the process that we just did, okay? So we're going to go in here, we're going to go to Edge, and let's just take these edges right here. Something like this, okay? And again, we're going to go to Edit Mesh and uh, Bevel, and let's do 0 0.1. It looks like we're in smooth mode here, so uh, hang on, let's... Uh, Go to object mode and hit one to go back. Let me just fix that, guys. <clears throat> there we go. So now we're going to go in and we're going to right click at a face and we're going to click and double click and we're going to hit uh, Control E to extrude and let's do minus 0 0.02 again and let's go and have a preview smooth, looking something like this and. Uh, that's how you move forward and create stuff like that. Now let's uh, put something in that is slightly more complicated. Let's go in here, <coughs> excuse me, and we're gonna hit one to unsmooth this. Let's go into face, click and double click. And what we'll do here is we'll hit the control E to extrude. We'll uh, do minus 0 0.5, that's a bit much, minus 0 0.5. 0, 0.5, that's a bit better, yeah. All right, looks good. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna take these faces, and let's approach it from this view here, and we're gonna drag select these faces. Now let's make sure we got them correctly, it looks like we do. We're gonna hit delete. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna right click and go to edge, Double click on that, Control E to extrude, W to pull out, R to scale in. Okay, 
So now we have this uh, huge hole, right? So let's go to mesh and fill hole. Now that will create a, a huge end gun. That's something that we don't want, of course. So we need to go in and fix that, okay? First, I'll show you what happens when you don't fix that. So we're gonna go to object mode and hit three to preview smooth. And you will see that we have this uh, ugly end gun right here and we need to fix that, okay? So we're gonna hit one to go back. We're gonna go into, uh, let's see, what's my best shot here? We'll go to this angle here. We'll hit four for wireframe mode. And we're gonna be dealing with this guy in the middle. So let's go to Modeling Toolkit. Let's go to Multi-Cut. And we're gonna to start to connect to these. So jump from here to there. Hit Enter there to there. All right, let's close that up. Hit Q on the keyboard and let's have a look. Okay, you can see that everything we got, even these small ones here, are quads, right? So no end guns going on anywhere, and uh, it's a clean surface, okay? So let's go in and hit 3 to preview smooth. Let's see what we got going on here. And uh, although, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, although these seem to be, yeah, they're all nice quads, we do need to assist that a little bit, okay? So we're going to go and hit one. We're going to go into uh, Injured Edge Loop, Option Box, Manual Setting. And let's bring that in right here, close to that edge to harden that edge. Let's do one here, one here, one there. And if you want, you can go in and put one in here. I'm not going to do this edge. I want that to be rounded. Q in a keyboard, Object Mode to preview smooth much much cleaner surface let's see yeah looks fine okay so what else can you do well um let's see here and uh, this is all fairly round so let's do something that will connect these two so i'm going to select this guy i'm going to go back and hit one i'm going to go to mesh and uh, smooth to no, actually i'm going to combine it first now this is completely symmetrical, okay? So I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold down J, and flip it around like so. So we now got this guy. I'm gonna drag select it. I'm gonna go to mesh and combine. It's now one object. I can now go in and right click and go to vertex, drag select the middle vertices here. Come on, drag select middle vertices and go to uh, merge and these are now merged and we now have one object so if i go to object mode come on and hit three you see that we have no visible seams or anything like that okay cool so we're going to want to go back let's create something that crosses over both elements here so um yeah why not go up here and uh, take this edge and just do this. Okay, we're gonna go to uh, Edit Mesh and the uh, Bevel again. Let's do 0 0.1, which is fine. Not quite done yet. And then we're gonna go in and let's see, we'll take our modeling toolkit again. We'll take our multi-cut tool again. And let's go from here to here to here hit enter from there to there to there and hit enter we're going to queue on a keyboard let's close that up and let's see what we're going to do here all right so we're going to right click get a face we're going to select this face row we're going to hit control e to extrude this time let's um We'll pull this one in again, minus 0 0.02. And then let's see if we can do something with our newly found shape, all right? So let's do this. Let's take this here. And I'm trying to come up with some kind of funky design that will 
look a bit sci-fi maybe it is better yeah I think that looks better okay so we're gonna hit the control E to extrude that let's uh, do 0 0.2 Obviously a bit less than that, 0 0.03. That looks kind of cool. Okay. And then let's see, yeah, we'll leave it at that. So we're gonna uh, have a preview smooth here. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, awesome. All right, so we need to add a few edge loops here just to hold that shape a little bit. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, injured edge loop, which is still set to single, if I'm not mistaken. Let's uh, bring that in, one there. We'll do one there. We'll do one there. And that should be most of it. Q on the keyboard, object mode, three to preview smooth, which will give a little bit cleaner look, okay? And want to go back, alrighty. So yeah, um, that's uh, basically it. Just a few techniques here. I'll just go in and uh, smooth this officially. Let's do uh, two here, which is kind of cool. And then uh, let's see if there's one more thing we can do just to kind of finish that, all right? Um, just for the heck of it. So let's see, we'll go to the back here and um, we'll go in and I'll right click at a face and I'm gonna select four faces right there. Hit shift period to increase that area uh, like that, yeah. We're going to hit uh, Control E to extrude. We'll hit W to pull out, like this. And then let's see, we are going to. Yeah. We're going to delete those faces and we are going to go in here and I want to add a little bit of detail here. So let's go to Injured Edge Loop again, and this time we're gonna do multiple, and we'll do um, two. Add them right there. Q on a keyboard, face, select those faces, Control E to extrude, let's do 0 0.1. Let's do a pre preview here. That yeah, looks kind of neat, All right? And then, uh, yeah, you can uh, connect that host to this, to this or whatnot. But uh, hopefully you get an idea of what you can do um, just using various techniques on some basic objects, okay? So that's all I wanted to mention about this. Uh, hopefully this will inspire you to ask me questions about more complex objects that I can actually cover in, let's say, a 10, 20 minute video. And uh, that said, uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.